Hello friends, hello. Welcome to the craft room. Happy Thursday night, yay, it's Thursday. It's Friday Eve, y'all. Happy Thursday. How are you doing? Come on in and join me in the craft room. I wanna do one more Mother's Day project idea for you guys. Um, not that we only have one more left, but I only have time to show you one more um, before Mother's Day gets here. But I got these supplies, um, was it last week I went to Hobby Lobby? Last Friday, right? So I decided let's do one more with these supplies that I got from there so I can show you guys some cute stuff. Hey, Linda, how are you? But um, yeah, so hop on in and to the craft room and say hi. Hit that heart button when you hop on. Hi, Mohammed. And um, let me know where you're watching from. I would love to know. Let me make sure I have everything we need. Ooh, why does that look like that? That kind of looks weird. I'm going to go out of Facebook and back in because that looked really weird. How has your day gone, you guys? I had such a productive day. I feel so much better. It's one of those things I have put off and put off and put off and procrastinated and put off. And it bugs me every single time I walk in that room, which is many, many times a day. But um, if you followed in my stories, I was in my pantry today because I was, I just decided this week that I needed to get in there and address it. I have probably reorganized that thing, I said four times, but probably five or six times since we've lived here and it just gets undone. And so I think I just gave up on it <laughs> and um, I have stuff to make it cute and all that stuff. And I didn't get time to do that today, but I made some serious projects progress it is organized I purged things from there um, it just looks so much better it just gives me peace to even look in there even though I haven't done like the, I haven't really done the heavy-duty clean-in or done the um, you know making things cute like changing liner and putting some other stuff in there um, but I feel so much better and I got that all done and I thought I don't even think I can do a project but I was like I really want to show this one last project to you guys so I decided to suck it up and come on on come on and share it with you guys so I am a little bit of a hot mess but uh, I know y'all don't care um, that's just the way we moms are that's how we moms roll so let me just make sure oh I am I am I am I thought I was there I saw it where am I oh my gosh why does it keep doing that am I at no, I am the right person. Where is it? Why am I not showing on here, y'all? Okay, here it is. I'll just pull it up this way. Maybe I can do it this way. Yes, I can. Okay, so we are going to do, um, remember this one? I did one project with it with a cute little shadow box and some puzzle pieces. We're going to do something else different, and I want to show you one other way you can personalize it. So um, I know it's kind of late, but maybe if you have this transfer, you can use this idea or you can always make it. Mom would take it anytime. I'm telling you, mom doesn't have to have this for Mother's Day. She would love this anytime. So um, I am going to show you a cool idea. But real quick, like I said, um, let me make sure that I have sprinkled this out. And if you guys would sprinkle it, I would so appreciate it. That just means tag a friend, share it out into the universe, spread the love. I would so appreciate it, you guys. Um, there we go. And I was thinking I might have one other one. Maybe this one? Not sure. I think I can. Anyway, we'll see. Hopefully I did that okay. I hope I didn't just share it to a group. I'm not allowed to. But hopefully I'll do it okay and they'll forgive me if not. Um, but... When you hop on, say hi, hit the heart button, and um, I am an independent designer with Chalk Couture, and I am actually in North Carolina, and um, I'd love to come on and show ideas to you guys, to share my love of creating with y'all. So, all right, let's see here. I do want to put one thing. Now, I did share a little bit earlier, I shared a reel of um, some new product that just got released today. Um, some new packaging or just really it was just it was new product it was just new product sets I guess is what it was um, so I did do a reel for that and I just want to make sure I put that link in the comments in case you all want to go check that out let's see if I can do that real quick hey Teresa how are you Hope you had a good day. Okay, so I just saw your comment come up while I was looking down. I hope you had a good day. Uh, hi, Shazad. I hope you're having a good day. All right, guys. 
One thing too, before I get started with this, I think I have everything I need. We are gonna do Mod Podge, we're gonna do ironing, we're gonna need a glue gun, so I think I have everything that I need for this project, I hope so. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Teresa. It was another glorious day here, but like I said, I was inside all day, um, but it was a beautiful day here in North Carolina. So I hope you guys had a beautiful day where you are. Now, do you guys remember these that we did last week? I made these cute, look at this, I love it, right? I made these stickers and I made some um, shrinky dinks. The shrinky dinks I turned into magnets. Um, so I just put the magnet on them today, so I'm gonna use those um, downstairs. But you remember these that I turned into stickers? Well, I found something to put them on. So I don't own one of these. Maybe you guys do, but it's one of those can coolers. So you can put all different kinds of cans in there and whatever kind of adult beverage, or even if it's not an adult beverage, some, uh, you know, a can or a, um, I'm going to take this off before it hits me. I had to run into Walgreens earlier. I got some photos printed and I also had to pick up a prescription. So I always look around because they have the cutest um, like little seasonal section. And I walked through there and I was trying to get some ideas because my boys are asking, what do you want for Mother's Day, Mom? So I'm like, oh, I can give you a couple ideas from there too. But I saw one of these and I'm like, I don't have one of these. And they would be perfect. I love the ombre look, right? And you guys know how much I love my blue. But I thought these would be perfect for my stickers. And I don't have any, I don't have one of these. So if we ever have an adult beverage or something that's cold, I don't drink out of a can a lot, but if I drink out of a bottle or something like that, I don't have one of these. So I thought it would be perfect. And I thought it would be perfect to put, and I need a wipe, um, my new stickers on. So find something plain like this, or even like they have, you know, plastic cups too with the straw, but I have several of those and I don't use them as much so um all that much so i thought this would be a better choice since i didn't have one so happy mother's day to me right um anyway i am gonna just i just clean that a little bit because it wasn't wrapped um so i'm sure it has finger oils on it but i'm gonna put these stickers on there and then they're gonna be permanent they'll be good i can wash it if i have to or if it gets wet it'll be fine um, but I think it's going to be super fun. So let's see if I can get these off. If I can't, I'll just tell you guys what I'm going to do and then I'll show you a picture maybe tomorrow. Um, but you know, I was challenged with this last time. I wanted to try to show you at least one of them, but I thought how fun to put all these on here. Yeah, probably late for something. That is definitely me. I am always late and I couldn't think of anything else to put it on. Oh yeah, I do have a picture printer too because I used to do that a lot when I was scrapbooking, but I just don't have time to deal with it and I don't want to invest in the ink anymore um, and the paper. I just don't do it enough. So um, I don't print a lot. I don't print a lot of pictures, but every once in a while, I had something I wanted to do for a teacher gift and then one of my son from his graduation. See what I'm talking about? Look how cute that is. How cute is that? So now that is on there and it is good. And then I'm gonna put my other one. These are stickers that I made from minis that my friend Linda let me borrow that she had. Let's see, where am I gonna put this one? I'll put this here. I don't know if I'm gonna, is it appropriate? I'm not sure. Hey, Monica, I missed you girl. Um, do you print a lot of pictures, Teresa? I'm not sure it's appropriate to put not today, Satan. <laughs> I don't know. Is it appropriate to put it on a, a thing like this? Because more than likely it's going to have an adult beverage in it. And I don't even care if it's straight, y'all. I'm not sure if, if I'm going to put that one on there. But anyway, look, look how cute. Probably late for something. And, that, and I still have room that I can put other things on it too if I want. Very cool, Teresa. Okay, so let's get on to our other project. I'm gonna save my Not Today Satan. I don't know what I wanna put that on, but I definitely need that somewhere because I absolutely love that. Okay, so let's get down to business here. Do you guys see what all I got going on here? So I said, this is the transfer that we're gonna use, right? I'm gonna set it aside for a minute because we got several steps before we get to that. I showed you guys, I picked this up last week um, at, girl, you made my day, Oh, Oh, yay, 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 oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that. That was my that was my goal was to bring some joy to you. So awesome! I'm so glad it arrived today. 
Um, and I hope you enjoy it. So I showed you about these last week at Hobby Lobby, these cute little puzzle pieces. And we are gonna work with those. And I'll probably, I might only do one just because I'm not gonna do it all. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or give it as a gift or sell it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But um, I'm gonna pull, looks like they're all the same. They're all shaped like that. I don't think any of them are any different. But look how many are in there. We have 12 pieces. I'll never use that many. But I'm gonna pull one of these out. Uh, or a couple of those out, and I'm going to tell you at the end, I'll show you. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Um, okay, and then this is one of our simple shape rectangles. It comes in a two-pack. It's called a rectangle, but it, we have two different rectangle ones. There's the ones that are smaller like this, and then the ones that are longer. So we're going to use this, and we are going to paint. Um, we're going to throw a little paint on here, and this is where that is going to go on, okay, because it's small enough. But then you remember, I also showed you these guys. And remember, the wood pile is on like 40% off, like almost like every other week at um, Hobby Lobby, in case you're looking for that. But even if not, I mean, it was $7.99 and you get two in the pack. So even if it's not, it's not a big investment. And these were $2.99, but I think the 40% off doesn't work on something that cheap. So you would still pay $2.99, but you get 12 um, of those. But um, yeah, so. I am going to open this up because I only need one of these. And if I had gotten it sooner and was on the ball, I probably would have offered to sell this um, even sooner, you know, to some people. But I don't know if I'll have time to, to do two of them. But I also got my package in the mail today of my other supplies for my other stuff. And um, I've got to decide which one I'm going to work. Uh, that'll, that'll be good for next week for Father's Day. So, look, these are, let's see. There are two different shapes. You can choose whichever one. I don't know, they probably even go together. I don't know, oh look, they would go together. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Anyway, you can pick which one you want. I'm gonna pull that up to the side. And then do you see this piece of paper? This is a piece of tissue paper that I have saved from, um, I don't know. I don't know, Monica. I don't remember seeing that, but I wasn't looking for it specifically. So like the last time I went, I was only in and out in a few minutes. And I have several things that I'll like put on my list and if they don't have it, I just go. But I don't know. I don't know. Tom oh, I don't know if tomorrow's my day. Tomorrow my day that I might be going to a different one. But um, I'll have to check. I'd love to see it. Put it in my VIP group. Put it in the VIP group. Wow, good for you. Wow, Teresa, you're really building up your uh, inventory, aren't you, girl? Okay, so um, this is a piece of tissue paper from some kind of gift or present, and I don't even remember what it was, and I wish I had been a little more careful with it, because you can see I have a hole here, but they had a sticker holding it together, but I have enough that's going to work on one of these puzzle pieces, so we're going to decoupage this tissue paper on one of the pieces of puzzle. And I need to see if I care if I what I like, which one I like better. Do I like that one or this one? I, I'm thinking, oh, I don't know. Does that look like a person? <laughs> which puzzle piece should I use, guys? This one with just the one piece or this one with the two? What do you think? Now, we're going to decoupage on the puzzle piece. Let me know. The one with the one or the two? Um, we're gonna decoupage that on there. Then we're going to do this and attach it to the front. And then we're gonna paint one of these, the one piece. We're gonna paint one of these. And I'm gonna show you how you could use it to customize it. Now, I don't mind my handwriting. If you don't like your handwriting, maybe you can do it another way. Maybe if you have a Cricut or something like that, you could, um, you could do the handwriting. But I'm going to show you how you could, I'm going to paint this. I'm just going to paint it a coordinating color. And then I'll probably write on it um, like one of the kids' names. You know, one also, Linda, you like the one? Okay. So we'll have to decide, do we think the piece, then you guys, will have, I'll go ahead and decoupage it. But you guys let me know whether you think the piece goes down or goes up. I don't know. I feel like it kind of looks like a little person. Maybe that's kind of like me, a little boxy and square. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, let's get started. So we got several things to get done. All right, and I am gonna set this tissue paper aside, but I did check it to make sure that it will 
And I think this is one ply. I'm pretty sure it's one ply because I can see through it. So we'll be good there. I'm going to set that aside. We're going to go ahead and get started and get to business here. Get to business. Monica, I have really missed having you around, girl. I know my times have been kind of, I've been doing it earlier, and I know you probably missed me a lot of the times. I, know, I always appreciate you sprinkling, and I always appreciate um, you commenting, but I do miss having you on my lives, girl. All right, I want to put that aside for right now. Okay, I am going to, I don't think it'll matter. Both sides look about the same to me. I don't think it's going to matter. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll matter. Hey, Miss Lou, how are you? I, all the gals are here. All my favorite gals are here. All right. Um, okay, so I'm just going to squirt some Mod Podge on here. I'm going to cover it very, very well. Okay. I want all of it covered with the Mod Podge. Just paint it on with whatever you want. You can use a foam brush. You can use a paintbrush. You could use a cosmetic sponge. This happens to be, I feel like this came with something I had at one time. Maybe it was a makeup thing and I never used it. So I'm like, hey, but that'll work for, because they sell Mod Podge brushes, if you can believe it. And I felt like they were similar to this. Oh, well, I know you got a lot going on, girl. And you've been dealing with a lot too. I have a lot of people in my life right now dealing with a lot. And I, it breaks my heart. Are you good people having to go through so much? I tell you, the enemy is really on a rampage right now, trying to, trying to, trying to work on people. We got prayer. We just got to keep our prayers up, keep fighting and believing, y'all. Even when it doesn't seem like he's listening, he's always there. Okay. I am going to add a little bit more because I can't tell for sure, but I want to cover the entire surface with Mod Podge. Okay. And then once I've done that, I've got my little blow, I made sure I brought my blow dryer and my iron and my, and I charged up. You guys, I am like, I'm afraid to say anything because I'm going to jinx myself. Sorry guys, I'm looking down right now. Um, I charged up my glue gun. I probably need to, no, I got a glue stick right here. Ooh, baby. All right. Doing better than I thought I was. I really wasn't even, I was thinking, oh, I'll just record a video and I will post it. But y'all, that it takes a lot of work. I have to do that. I have to do the video. Then I have to put it into another program and flip it because you can't flip it on your phone. Um, to make it so the words are the right way. Okay, that's all done. And then it's just a lot of work. So I'm like, no, I'll just, I'll just jump online. I'm so glad I did so I get to hang out with all you gals. All right, so you might be saying, why are you drying that, Susan, if you're gonna decoupage or mod podge that tissue paper on there? Well, you guys know I like this method better. I have a little iron here, speaking to uh, Teresa, speaking of iron, mine is on a cricket, but uh, I have a little travel iron here, and I'm going to turn it all the way on and put it aside because I like to dry my Mod Podge first and then use my iron uh, to apply my. So if you haven't seen me do that yet, hang tight, we're going to show you real quick. I like to do this because then your paper doesn't, um, your paper does not grab onto, hey look, that fits. Y'all, I'm not firing on all cylinders, okay, just so you know. This whole body is tired and this whole brain is tired, so. All right. See, that's dry. It's dry already. I'm going to try not to yell at y'all. Um, I like to do it this way. That way, if I go to put my paper down, then it doesn't like try to stick and tear and what have you. So now my Mod Podge is completely dry, and I am going to just place 
my tissue paper. And I don't mind, isn't this pretty though? You know when I saw it, oh, I gotta find my holes. I gotta make sure I don't put it where the holes are. I think I might have to do it. Let me cut this so I can manage it a little better. Um, but don't throw it away because you never know. You know, like I could Mod Podge some of this on the back of my little piece that I'm gonna put on here and I might do that. I might do it, so don't throw it away. Where's the other hole? There's the other tear. So I think, did I decide it was this way? Let me just check again, guys. I'm, I'm gonna do it from the top. Yes, exactly, exactly. I love it that way. I love that it doesn't wrinkle. Okay, let's see. I checked this out beforehand because I'm like, oh, is it gonna work with the holes? Yes, I'm gonna be fine, I'm gonna be fine. But I just thought this paper was so pretty. I have had it stuffed away for I don't know how long, y'all. I was just like, oh, I'm not going to get rid of that because I might use it for something. And I was going through my napkin stash is what I was doing. Because I was like, oh, I'll pick a napkin and then that'll help me pick all my colors. You know, you can pick something that you think your mom would like. Um, like I was looking through my beach, you know, my summer napkins, all the different things. Because I was like, what would I, what would I want to use? You know me, you guys. I love all the bright colors. But this one was so pretty too. Okay, so now we have our paper. It fits. And see, look, I can do all this. And it's not going to rip it and tear it. Because it's dry. So I'm just going to place it on top of the surface. Okay? And kind of smooth it out a little bit. Because it does have quite a few ripples in it. Because I probably just balled it up and stuck it somewhere. And then once I've done that, my iron is heating up. I am just going to put it on full iron, you know, whatever the highest setting is. And what was that? I felt weird. Um, I got a spot in my back. I woke up with this morning. I was asking my husband. I'm like, that's not like your kidneys or your appendix or anything like that, is it? I got to tell you what, this is getting old stuff. I felt my age today. But um, I was like, that's not like anything I have to worry about, right? So I think I must have just pulled something. I wasn't even doing anything strenuous yesterday. I wasn't even working in the yard or anything. Um, so I don't know what it was that did it, but he said he didn't think so. So I'm hoping not. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, and actually, you guys, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit because I have found with this type of like real thin wood that it kind of wants to buckle a little bit. I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper. You can take parchment paper or you can take one of those Teflon like things um, for the heat. Either one, doesn't matter. And I'm going to lay it over top of my napkin and I'm going to take my iron. No water in your iron. Make sure there's no water in it, okay? And then I usually Oh, I hate it when a cord, y'all remember when the phone cords used to do that? Oh my gosh, that would aggravate me to no end when they would be all, do you guys remember that? I know you do. I know you do, Linda, and I know you do, Monica, and I know you do, Miss Lou. Teresa probably does not. She's too young. But the phone cords, oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm going to, I hate it when the cords get tangled. Um, twisted. All right, I'm going to start in the middle, and I'm going to press out. That way, those wrinkles that were on there, guess what? We're going to work them out, just like I was ironing a garment of some kind. So I am just starting in the middle, pressing out, and I can see through my parchment paper. Make sure you're using parchment, not wax. Don't ever use wax. Now, you can do the same technique using, uh, without my posh, using saran wrap. I have shown that once before, too. I haven't done it in a long time, but you can do that as well to adhere something to um, like to, to decoupage something. I have not done that one in a while. But just go over it, make sure you're getting all the wrinkles out, but then also what it's doing is reactivating my glue, right? Because that's what Mod Podge is, is basically just glue. And I wanna check and see if there's any, now I'm, I do have a wrinkle here, but I'm not gonna stress over it because I'm gonna place that in the middle. And you know what, it's okay if it does because it's gonna kind of look kind of vintagey. You do? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, your grandparents and your mom, I know. <laughs> yep, they were aggravating. 
Okay, so I'm just going over it and making sure on the corners as well. And then we'll just check it. But keep it moving. Don't keep it one spot too long just because, um, like I said, this thin wood, um, it can buckle. I found it can buckle. So once I've gone over it, see, look, that didn't take. Now, if it didn't take, it could be because I don't have enough glue there. And that could be the case. If that happens, then just add a little more glue and maybe just smooth it down because it's just a little section. I'm gonna live dangerously on that little corner there. But just check the rest of it and see, as long as you applied enough glue, that's why you wanna be thorough and make sure you applied it. Check your edges, make sure you have it adhering. I see like right there. So I'm pretty sure just on the edges, I must not have put enough glue. Cause I didn't think I was worried about going off my little paper because I didn't have it setting on the paper right. Just check your edges. Okay, and that one still doesn't have it on that corner. Usually I don't miss any spots, but I told you guys I'm hot mess express tonight. It's okay, we're all friends here. Okay, so now it's attached. I'm gonna turn my iron off so I don't forget and burn myself by accident. And now we can get to the business of, take, of taking away the extra. Now, um, you can do one of two things. You can use a sanding block or you can use an old fingernail file. I use an old fingernail file like for areas in here like this. I haven't bought one of those. I need to buy one of those little small, little, um, little small, um, Little sanding, hand sanding things. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, and then you just go on the edges. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. I'm gonna go on the edges in a downward motion. worried about it in this particular project. I don't really care. Okay. Now on the curves, you're going to have more of a hard time. That's why I say I usually get my, uh, I have an old fingernail file. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry, Monica. I don't know if there's a quieter way to do it. I'm sorry. I should have warned y'all. I'll know that for future though. I'll say, hey guys, I'm getting ready to sand. It might be a little loud. I am kind of being forceful, so it was probably me. I'm curious, though. Can you guys tell me, because I don't usually go back and watch my videos after I've done them. Um, can you hear me okay? Does it sound like I'm echoey, or does it just sound normal? Because I always wonder. I feel like sometimes... <laughs> Sorry, I woke you up, right? Uh, I feel like sometimes it's echoey when I just do my little part where I'm um, putting it over to YouTube and I hear it and I'm like, I hope I don't have, because I should have enough stuff in the room to make the acoustics pretty good, but you know how that is. Okay, so do you see how it's coming all off here? Just go all the way around until you get as much off as you can. And then I'm going to get in here into the middle parts. And then you have a nice, crisp, clean project. See, it's quieter now. Now that you brought it to my attention, Monica, <laughs> I'm trying to be a little calmer. I did, you guys, I did have to have a second cup of coffee and I don't usually do it really late, although caffeine doesn't seem to affect me or help me, but 
that much, but I did try a, uh, we got an iced coffee for the Keurig pod. Um, my son was with me and we were shopping and he goes, oh, that looks good, mom. So we got it and I tried it today for the first time. So I might be a little aggressive because of that, because I needed a little pick of that. And I don't drink um, caffeine, I don't drink like soda. Every once in a while I might have a zero, one of the zero sodas, but I'm usually pretty good about not doing that. I try to stay away from that stuff. But every once in a while you just get a hankering for a soda. So you see this is just an old fingernail file. It just helps me kind of get in these smaller spots a little bit better. Now you could also, if you don't want to decoupage one of these, um, I mean, I love it, decoupage. You could just paint it, you know, any color you wanted. Um, you could do this design directly on it. You could paint the background and just do the design directly on it. Sounds fine to you? Okay. <laughs> what do you say? Oh, it sounds so nice. Oh, I know. I know what you mean. Um, oh, good. Thank you for telling me that. Sounds good to you. Okay, good. Because I did worry about that. I'm like, most other people don't have that problem, but I was like... Thank you for letting me know that, guys. It's one of those things you don't think about when you're in here doing it because you sound fine to yourself. But um, but you could paint it. You could do this directly on here, or you could paint it and then do one of these or something similar to that. I'm sure you could find a little piece of wood at the Dollar Tree, too, and paint it and put it on top of it. Um, but I like the – and you could use fabric. You can use a napkin. Uh, whatever works, whatever you like, or whatever mom likes, if you have a mom that you're giving it to. You know what I'm saying? Look at all that extra. Now I will, I'm going to show some self-control, you guys, because I am trying to do better about not keeping absolutely everything. And I am going to throw these pieces away because I still have enough of it saved over there. So I am going to try. To not keep every tiny little piece. Now it's a little messy, but it's worth it. Okay, so now look how great that looks. Now, guys, do I put it this way or am I putting it this way? What do you think? Oh, you can't drink coffee. I know you said that. I love the smell of coffee too. Like going in a coffee shop or smelling fresh ground. I can't drink strong coffee, but I love the way it smells. But I do like, I'm one of those though that I like a little coffee with my cream. So, you know, it's like that. So I use heavy whippy cream in mine because I try to do the keto stuff or the, yeah. So low carb and that's better for you or whatever. So, um, but I love a little coffee with my cream. I've always been that way. And sugar. I don't use real sugar. Um, oh, that's an idea. Let me see. Well, I don't know how that's going to look. That's the only thing. What do you think? I mean, I could do it that way. It will cover up some of it. What do you guys think? What do you think, Linda? Lou? Teresa, what do you think? Like this? I could glue it like that. That might be cute. I hadn't thought about it that way. Thank you, Monica. You think no? What do you other gals think? Well, that might not be bad. I mean, it is covering up some, but you still can tell it's a puzzle piece, right? Does that look weird? You guys think about it. I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna start on this one. So, for this, what we're gonna do is I found this color that I forgot I even had. And you guys, I've been trying to start. Uh, know what? No, don't do it sideways. Um, just say, we're talking about this little piece. Just say up, down, or side. <laughs> so I don't know. But I was going, I'm trying to start like in a process. I'm not getting into de uh, organizing my craft room, but I need to. But so when I've been grabbing paints, I've been trying to put them in a different place that I'm going to be able to see them better. But I was, I came across this. Do you see what color it says? Metallic bronze and I thought you know what I could put this is kind of making me feel like this and I thought that would be fun now I'm not going to paint the whole thing like paint it paint it I am just going to like brush across it 
painted. So let me grab one of my paintbrushes. Luckily I have one here. Okay, up, up. What about you, Teresa? Up, up. <laughs> that helps. Thank you guys. All right, so I was like, I have not used this forever, but can you guys see how gorgeous that's going to be? All right, so this is what we're going to do. I don't think it matters. Mm, maybe I'll do that side. I am going to be lazy and just squirt it on here like I do. Okay, that's going to be probably way too much. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty though, you guys. Look. Okay, everybody votes up. Thank you. All right, now I am just going to take it, and it's kind of a sheer I, I didn't know what it was going to be, but it's like a sheer color, and I'm just going to kind of, I'm not going to do the whole, like try to make it solid, but I'm going to try to make it cover a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even care if the brush strokes show. Well, I said I wasn't going to cover it all, but maybe I am. Ooh, look at that pooling right there. I do, even if it has brush strokes, I do want to make sure it's, um, I might have to cover it all, y'all. It's so thin, I think that's why. But I'm kind of trying to make it a little bit haphazard. I guess we're going to be doing the edges, too, because I'm going over the edges. Okay, rethink. I was just going to go back and forth and back and forth, but the more I look at this, this is white and this is creamy. Because it's probably because it's picking up that brown undertone from underneath um, that natural color. So we'll just go across it. But still, I'm not going to do a heavy. I don't mind it being very light translucent. It will give it a little bit more character. Ooh, I love it. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to let that set and dry for just a second. And we're going to flip this around and I'm going to show you what else we're going to do. So this is just old. This is very old. This is Craftsmart Acrylic Craft Paint. I have no idea where that brand comes from, but it's bronze. So it's very translucent. I like it though. Um, okay, so now for the little piece, for this little puzzle piece, I'm just going to do one just to show you guys. But I could decoupage some of this on the back of it, even though it's going to be attached to here. If you saw it from the back, you could. You don't have to, you could. Um, I am going to paint this in a green. And I chose, there is a pretty purple, like this kind of almost like a plum color. And then there, that looks like blueberries, so it's like a really deeper purple. Um, I could do one of those. I was thinking shimmer, but shimmer would be harder to write on. But what you can do is once you get done with this, I think, I don't know, is that going to be too bright? Ooh, that might be too bright, y'all. That might be too bright. Let me see. I'm afraid that's going to be too bright. You know what? I'm going to do one and see. And if it is, I have, I have 12 of them. And I don't have 12 kids. Praise the Lord. I don't have 12 kids. So I can always do another one. It might be. Yeah, it's too bright. I'll just use it for something else. And I'm just using a makeup sponge. You all see that? To paint this. If I thought about it, I would put it on my board that has the painter's tape on it so I wouldn't get it on my... Yeah, that's going to be too bright. That's going to be too bright. We're going to have to do a different one, y'all. Cut that off. Let me pull a different... I'm going to use some of my chalk paste as paint yeah it's pretty though it's called scallion I think I keep thinking yeah it's called scallion I feel like I need like a celery color Ooh, that is so bright that's too bright for this hmm that's an idea the only thing I'm concerned about is if I'm gonna write on it although if I'm using a paint pen you could use a paint pen or you could use a, a sharpie probably um, whether or not I could do that we could try it I've got bronze right here. All right, let me dry it just a little bit. It soaked it right up. It's, it's drying super quick because this is chalk paint, uh, so it dries super quick. But I feel like I need a celery color. I was looking the other day and I didn't see one that was called that. But that would be a good color green to have in that way. 
That's a good idea. We'll try the bronzer or top of it. See, this is why I need you gals to help keep me straight. Let me just make sure that I have it. Monica, are you back to work yet? I did a pretty crappy job of painting the sides here, y'all. then it's gonna be darker on the outside. Okay, thank you. Do y'all talk to your projects? Okay, so this is the second day in a row that I've been working with paint and wearing white. I have white shorts on today, and actually I have white pants on. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. A little bit too much together sometimes, right? I know that's hard. I know my husband probably felt that way too when he was recovering from his surgery. Well, I'm I'm glad to hear that you, you can at least drive. I, I just wish you weren't still suffering with the pain. You've been through something this last year. Not just this year, this last year. Okay, that should definitely be dry. All right. So now we're going to be more coordinated. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. This is working. So Linda has become an inking fool. You are welcome. Oh no, girl. I don't even want to know that. I don't want to hear that. You need that not today, Satan. That's what I should have sent you. That's what I should have sent you. That definitely helped. Oh, Monica, thank you. Okay, can I get this? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's dry them. Now, I won't have to do anything else to this. Uh, I don't need to wax it because I'm not going to chalk on it. I'm just going to hand write on it. I'm either going to use a paint pen or a Sharpie, okay? For this little little baby piece. This one will wax. Leave the wax out. And I'm thinking I might need to... Go ahead and um, turn on my glue gun. You did? Girl. Yeah, I got her hooked. So Linda came over. Well, she had seen the inking before, but she came over not too long ago. Luckily, she lives close by. And um, she came over and we did an inking session. And now she's hooked. So she's been going like crazy. Doing them at home and doing them for friends. And oh y'all, this feels like so um it feels metallic almost. Alright. I wanna make sure it's good and dry, because even last night I rushed my drying and I got a little smudge and I had to refix it. So I'm learning. You're probably gonna end up with more ink than me. I, I still probably have a couple colors I need to get. And I need to do it while they're doing the buy for you get one. Okay. I think that'll be good. Y'all, I feel like I'm yelling at you. I'm sorry. Ooh, there's ink on the I mean, paste on the side. I didn't do good on that. Drying that. Okay, we're going to pick it up. That's going to move. And then I'm going to try to get this off of here. And I'm, what I'm going to do, look at that. Look how messy I am. How messy that is. I am going to just take 
my little paper towel down the sides so that any big hunks are gone. Am I getting wet on me? There we go. That's better. I still got a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, so we're gonna put some surface wax on here. Turn on my glue gun. Yes, they put all of them, everything is the same price. The shimmers are the same price as the regular ones, the ink um, jars. Now you can get single ink packets as well. And even the packets I think are all the same. They tried to universalize all the prices just to make it easier um, on all of that stuff. And it does, because I, I had to keep a cheat sheet just to remember what was what for what people asked. But I love that you can get the single packets. So like if there's a color that you don't think you'll use a lot, you can do that. And um, most of them I buy the jars, but there's a few of them like the paste packets. Uh, I mean, um, the ink packets of a couple colors that I don't. All right, guys, it's already pretty slick. So I think we're gonna be good, but I wanna protect my transfer so it doesn't um, pick up any of that paint. And I am just going to real quick heat it just to make sure my, uh, I mean, it should be no problem because it was in the 80s again here today, but I do have the air on. I have the air conditioner on. Not really low, but because the humidity is not too bad yet. Thank you, Lord. All right, now i got to figure out, you know, the one thing I didn't pick out was my paste color. Y'all know what? I'm thinking, how do we feel about Shimmer Plum? I bet I know, um, I know Linda's vote. <laughs> I know, I know what you mean, girl. Even mine, I mean, I get a lot, you know, and mine's a business, obviously, but it's still, I have to curb my, control myself sometimes. And say no do I really am I gonna really use it so I try not to impulse buy in the beginning I probably impulse bought a lot more than what I do now now I really try to think through not that any of what I've gotten has gone to waste I just haven't been able to like with transfers I can't get to all of them yet but we are in a season that's getting ready to change so I'll, I'll be a little more disciplined with that yes 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 okay I figured that okay I think that would be the best color. I mean, I like the orange, but we're kind of picking up the orange tones with that. So let's do Shimmer Plum. And you know I have to have Shimmer. Let's do our Shimmer Plum. All right, and we're doing this at the top. This up, 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 right? And then, okay, so. So that wax is gonna help protect my transfer. And I have used it once, I've only used it once, but I will buzz it. Have I used it once or have I? Oh no, I've used it twice. Cause remember I did, I did, I used that mug this morning. I should have remembered. I also did a sticker for my coffee, one of my coffee mugs with the same uh, transfer. So I've used it twice. All right, let's fuzz it though, just a little bit. Not too much cause I have the wax on here. So I think it's gonna be okay. Let me get this on here. And I still have extra room, guys. I could still put like, oh, you know what I just thought of. You know what I could do is put some little flowers around. Like, okay, my glue just started dripping. I'm like, what? Um, I could put some little flowers around the outside to give another uh, some more texture to it. See, here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's hard as a brick. I wonder if I have a single packet. That is hard as a brick. I need to. You know what? How about, um, you know I love this Shimmer Plum. You know I love it. It is hard. I guess I haven't used it since Halloween. How about a Shimmer Orchid? That one would be a good one. Let me, let me pull that one. Shimmer Orchid. Let's try that one because I think that might be okay too. 
that might pull more of this uh, color. And I haven't used it that much. It's fairly new, so I should be in good shape if I can find it. So this is why I need a different system because I have a heart. I have to move everything to get to something. Let's look at it and see. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna work. I know, right? I didn't even realize, and I can't remember if I bought a second one of those. I don't know. How about with, oh yeah, that'll pull up that, don't you think? That's gonna pull up this little plum color. It's still gonna be pretty. It's not shimmer plum, but it's still gonna be pretty. And it's almost brand new, so yay. Yay, let's do this. Let's do this one. All right, guys. Pivot, just pivot. I guess I need to get some more, I don't think, I don't remember if the whole jar of Shimmer Plum is being offered right now. I know you can get the pass, the Pace Packets. Uh, they just put that out today. That you couldn't normally get. Yeah, this will be pretty. This is a little more feminine. I mean, I love purple. Y'all know I love purple, but this is, this is really nice too. I love these new transfers and how it just glides across it. Now remember, the shimmer, you just want to press a little firmer just because it's got that grittiness that makes it shimmer to get it through the um, silk screen. I think this is going to be really pretty. So now I'll probably have to see if I can find, after I go off, I'll look through my little stash over here and see if I have any cute little flowers that I could put on the end. Nothing big, and I don't even want to do silk ones. I'm going to do like paper ones or, or chipboard or one like that. I think I have something in mind that I can use that I could put around the edges just to give it another little element. I think that might be fun. Look at this, guys. You always do chalk maintenance? You are good, girl. I am always just running in here and running out. All right, you ready? Look, yes. Isn't that so pretty? And it's so simple. I love that, I love the swirl. I sign my name a lot of times. I do this little thing under it and that reminds me of it. I think that's why I like that so much. Isn't that so pretty? That is so pretty. So, add it up. Let's just hit that real quick with the dryer. I would usually usually use and do with the ink too. I don't have to do too much with my ink. I don't have too much trouble with my ink. I think that goes almost perfectly, you guys. All right. That was a happy accident, right? A happy accident. I think I could have moved that over a little bit. It's not quite in the center. So if I throw a flower on there, it'll, it'll uh, because it's off to the left a little bit. You guys, you, you don't notice that, right? I do. But I'm sure you guys didn't notice that. Surely you didn't notice that. Okay. But if I put something over here, it won't. So, because I was like, I don't need any ribbon. I don't need any bows. But I could put a little couple flower or a little flower. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I can find. Okay. So that's what it's going to do. I'm just going to take my glue. Oh, yeah. I'm at the end of that one. Luckily, I kept one up here close. I'm going to add a significant amount just because this is a little heavier. But Are organized girl 
All your transfers and art for very nice. Very nice. I love being organized. I'm not as organized as I would like to be right now, but I have to shoot. It took me months, almost a year probably to get to my pantry from the last time. I have too many areas of the house that I have to keep up with. I was just seeing there was something I didn't like and I was going to fix it. And now I lost it when I flipped it around. I don't know where it was. Must not be that. Oh, I think it was here. You know, when you're working with wood, which this was, it's not completely, it's not completely even. You get little bumps and valleys and stuff. So sometimes you might have a tiny bit of a bleed here or there, and you can always scrape it off, especially if you use surface wax. So I'm just cleaning up a couple places that I can see that. All right. What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? Can storage racks to store the paste and inks in? Oh, you mean like cans you would use in your pantry? Like canned storage like that? I have, I've never shown you guys, but I have a pretty cool little thing here that I can see it all. It's just, it's too deep. You know, it's two jars deep, and that's for my chalk. My paste, my ink is over there on a tear tray because I don't only have enough for one thing. But my chalk paste, I have a bunch more, and it's too deep, so I always have to pull. So I have all the shimmer on one and then the regular paste on another, but it's running out of room, and it's all too deep, so I have to pull out the front one. Some nice ones can be converted to fit the jars. Interesting. You have to send me a picture, girl. You have to send me a little link or a picture so I can see what you're talking about. What do you think, guys? Isn't that cute? Okay, so then here's what I'm talking about. Now, you could even do this, each one. Look, that's almost the exact color, Monica. Almost the exact color. You could do, you know, each one of them in a different color if you wanted to pull out, if you wanted to find this other color green. And then this is almost like a pretty... Um, it's like a, it's almost mixed with green and blue, so it's kind of really pretty. If you wanted to do that, you could do each one in a different color. You certainly could do that. And then just hot glue them. I don't know, I think I would. I'm not sure how I would do it, if I would want it. Maybe like that. What do you think? Oh, you guys can't see it. What do you think? Does that look right? Or do you have it? I don't want to have it all the way. I don't know if I want it hanging off too much, but I don't want it on there all the way. What do you think of that? Like that. I could even turn it a little bit more. Or like that. I don't know if I like that as much. Hmm. Because you're going to have a space here to write a name. I think maybe like that. Do you guys like that? Does that look all right? Because I could go ahead and glue that on. I think my glue is still hot enough. Yeah, I think that looks good. Let's see why my glue is still hot. I don't want it all the way on, but I don't want it all the way off either. Thank you. So now what you would do is, if you have however many children you have, you could do a little puzzle piece for each one. Uh, you may need a bigger one. If you have a lot of kids, <laughs> this may not work for you. But if you only had a few, like I have, I have three, but then I have Keegan too, so... I'd probably do four if I was doing that because I include him as kind of one of my kids. So um, 
for now, I only have the one, one grandchild. You could even just do this for, it would be cool if you could make it into grandma or, or grand or grandma or mama or whatever you go by. What are your, what do your grandkids call you, Monica? I think Linda's Nana. If you could do Nana, that would be cool and you could do grandkids, but that might be a little hard. But you could even write, you know, you could write your kid's name on here, your actual kid, and then you could put their name, their their kids underneath of it um, as well. So like I could put Caleb here and then I could put Keegan on his piece with him, right? Yeah, you're Nana. I thought so, Linda, and I don't know what Monica is. Y'all know I'm Grandma Ma. Wait till you see the shirt. I'll show you guys next week, maybe. I don't know. A, a shirt that I just made that says Grandma Ma, and I made it um, with ink. But um, you could write their name on it. Like I said, a paint pen, a Sharpie, that would be super, super cool, right? All right, so that's it. And then, oh, you guys, I just want to see. Here's what I'm thinking. Tell me what you think of this. I've already turned off my glue gun. But, like, what about something like this? I, think some, I got a, another wood flower the other day, too somebody sent me as a gift. I don't remember where I put it. That's why I need to organize my room. Because I don't know where I put it. But I got a wooden flower the other day, too. That might be cool. Because this is kind of like that, look, oh my gosh, you guys, aren't these the coolest? You know you can do this with like um, coffee filters? This is actual wood. Do you know you can make them with coffee? Aww. Oh, that's so cute. That's so sweet. But look, that's made out of wood, but you can do the same thing out of coffee filters. Maybe I'll show you guys how to do that sometime. But I could maybe, I don't know, is it going to be too much? It depends on how many of the puzzle pieces you have, I suppose. But you could put, that might be too much. That stands off a lot. I like it, but I think it stands off too much. It's way too, but that would be the perfect color. That is so sweet. Oh, y'all, I'm going to have to look through my stash and see because I can't take right off. I also even just have, like, um, fabric ones, and I have chipboard. I mean, I could do silk, but I also have, like, chipboard ones somewhere over here that I'm sure I can get out. Let me show you. And let me see what you guys think. Hang on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Everything's a hot mess. I have like chipboard ones. Look, this is all from my scrapbooking days. I used to be organized, see? I used to try. Uh, and this is fabric ones. What do you guys think? Oh, I would love it. I love organizing. It's the time. I absolutely adore organizing. It just brings me pleasure and I can help other people. But for myself, I love to have things organized and I enjoy organizing it. I love coming up with creative ways to organize. I just don't have the time right now. But look, I could do like a little fabric one, maybe even over here, right? I could do that. I think it might be too much near the puzzle piece, but I could do a fabric one or I could do a chipboard one. Sorry guys, I don't mean to be rude. What, I'm, I keep feeling like my nose is itching. Someone talking about me. I, guess. I could maybe find a chipboard one that would work. I don't know. That would kind of mimic one of those. If I could find one similar, I would show y'all. There's some green. So like a daisy. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that one is. You guys. Oh my gosh, why is my nose itching? Is that too much? Is that too much? I wish it was a little smaller. Is that too much, y'all? You know me, I'm a little extra. Look, here's a little tiny one. Or, instead of putting it on there, I could maybe even just put it up at the top. And you know it has a little sparkle on it. Yeah, well, I'm probably going to add more puzzle. Put it on the opposite side. 
like over here. I'm probably going to add another puzzle piece here, at least one other puzzle piece here. I don't know if I'll add one here or not. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep this for me or not. I haven't decided. Ooh, that one's pretty. That's kind of a pretty color. I don't know, is that too? Ooh, it clashes a little bit with that pink. So which one would you use? Would you use the chipboard or would you use like um, a silk, one of the little silk flowers, like the silk ones? I just put something up here. I don't know. Yes, tomorrow's Friday. That is awesome. Everybody's excited. It's Friday. For sure. Oh, wow. Look at that one. That's so pretty. That looks like a starfish. I need to use that on one of my summer projects. That's kind of cute, but it doesn't match any of the flowers. I don't know. I might have to play with it a little bit. I have a problem with like empty space. So a lot of times I overdo it. I do the same thing with scrapbooking. I do the exact same thing with scrapbooking. Ooh, that one's kind of pretty, y'all. But fabric or chipboard? That's really big. I have all these colors. I think that cream color would be the best, to be honest. This is actually a paper flower. That one matches that color, but I think it's too, too strong, too strong. All right, maybe I'll play around with that part of it. We'll see. I don't know. I can't decide. I'm going to play around with it and look. You guys can. All right, honey. Well, you, I set knee, and I hope you start feeling better. Oh, you're so sweet. And you are welcome. You are welcome. You're so sweet. Yeah, I got to play with it. Sometimes I have to play around with it a little bit or look at it a little bit. Maybe I need to do my other piece and put it on here to be sure. Um you know, you could just do one piece and write all your kids' names on there, too. I don't know. What do you guys think? More than one piece or just the one piece and write all the kids' names on there? And then if I had a flower, it would be. Thank you, Monica, for joining us. Could just do the one piece. I don't know. That, that feels empty. It feels empty down there. I feel like it needs at least one more. All right, guys, that's what I got for you tonight. Thank you so much for letting me come in to your world for just a little while. Thank you, girls, so much for crafting with me. It's so much more fun when you guys are here. And I hope this inspired you, encouraged you to try something new. Maybe you learned something new tonight. I hope so. Uh, any and all of the above. But I thank you for letting me do it. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your night that um, you have a good start to your Friday and sleep well. And I will, we'll see. I'm hoping to come on here tomorrow with a project. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how my day goes. Um, but possibly tomorrow, if not Saturday for sure. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your night. Be safe, be healthy, and till I see you again, be blessed.